Hello everyone and welcome to Factorio. This is Rock Fallen and today I wanted to go over something that has always been kind of a, a thorn in my side and that is belt balancing. When I first started playing Factorio I had a really hard time figuring out how to balance belts correctly so I looked at a lot of tutorials, I looked at a lot of forums, I looked at a lot of images of people's uh, belt balancers and I kind of collected up all of my favorites and so today I want to share those with you um, just as a, a quick overview for anyone who's not super familiar with what belt balancers are uh, the main concept of a belt balancer is that you can put in any number of inputs and it'll spread that input evenly amongst the output as you can see here so we're putting in one full belt of iron and it's splitting it evenly amongst these four belts and it shouldn't matter how many inputs you have that is the concept of a belt balancer because I mean if you've got uh, ore coming in on a belt and you have 20 drills on one line and only one drill on another line it should still balance those evenly when it comes out the other side of the belt balancer so you can see here no matter how many we add in it still keeps all the lines evenly balanced so that's kind of what we're gonna cover today uh, one quick note is that as of 0.15 we do have different lengths of underground belts. Um, most of these, if not all of them, were built pre-0.15, um, so they are all the same length as the yellow undergrounds, even though they could go further. Um, I built them all with red belts um, so that it is faster than just the generic belts, but not necessarily the, the resource-intensive late-game blue belts. So. Um, if you place down these blueprints, you can always just place the different kinds of belts over the top of them if needed. So, the reason this video is a little bit late, I usually post Thursday mornings and obviously it's Thursday evening, is that going into this, I didn't realize exactly how much work I was getting myself into. So, I am not planning on covering all of these in depth. Um, I will provide the entire blueprint book for you guys, so you don't have to try and build all of these from scratch. I do want to kind of talk a little bit about a couple of them just so that everybody's on the same page uh, and then you're welcome to go use these wherever you need to. First off, um, if you don't know how to do a 2x2 two two belt balancer, I feel like you might need to run through some of the tutorials on Factorio, so I'm not including this one in the blueprint book. You should be able to figure that one out. Um, I have a couple of different versions of the 2x3 here. We've got kind of a, a long thin version versus a, a shorter wider one so depending on how it fits in your system you can build either of these. Um, you can also mirror them if you want to try and, and build it going the other direction like for instance if this little loop is in your way um, they do work the other direction as well so you'll just have to build your own mirror of that. The 2x4 is pretty simple and the 2x5 here I've also got uh, the short wider one and the tall thin one for again whichever fits better in that particular space. The 2x6 is my favorite because it's just so pretty. It's so symmetrical and has lots of swirly bits. Anyway, 2x7, uh, 2x8, so uh, putting two belts in and getting up to eight belts out is all here. Uh, when we move down to the threes, I've got the 3x2 three all the way up to the 3x8 here. And then fours, I started with the four to three, mostly because if you want a four to two, all you have to do is just remove those two belts and you have a four to two. So there's no reason to build an extra blueprint for that. Uh, four by four is the one we showed up at the top when we were starting out, uh, all the way through eight again. And then we go down here to the five by threes. Again, if you want a five by two, you just take off one. Uh, this goes all the way up to the five to eight. And then down here we have our six to four, which is kind of the same thing. Six to four, six to three, six to two. So you can use those as needed. It should still be fairly even. They're not exact, but they're pretty close. Uh, so this is the all the way up to the six to eight. And then you'll see from there we go right into the eight to fours. And uh, the reason for that is that the sevens, I, I built most of the sevens and then I realized that the sevens were really just the eights minus one input. So all of the eights should work pretty evenly for the sevens. Um, you might get a little bit of less input on the ones where you take off one belt, um, but they end up being a lot 
closer and easier than building the sevens because the sevens end up looking like this but a little bit bigger so anyway now we've got the eight to four again eight to three eight to two and we've got all the other eights here up to the eight by eight I realize that some people like to build even bigger bases that use more than 8, like I've seen 16s, I think I've seen a couple that were even 32s. At that point, typically I just use a couple of these next to each other rather than trying to use big wide ones that mix everything together, but you could certainly do those as well. Um, if there are any of those in particular that you'd like, for instance if you want a 16 to 16, uh, let me know, I might be able to build those for you, but uh, no promises on that. Uh, I also wanted to take a quick moment while I've got you here to let you know that if you are enjoying watching my content, um, I am going to be participating in a new multiplayer Factorio server in the upcoming weeks. Um, more info on that to come shortly, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I will talk to you all soon.